<clears throat> this is going to be a brief tutorial of Logic World, which is a digital circuit simulator. In digital circuits, you have uh, states, binary states, 0, 1, for example, that could also be considered false and true or high and low, uh, you know, in, in, in like circuits. So like an AND gate here takes two inputs, two binary inputs, and produces one binary output. Uh, to get to your uh, components, you can hit tab here. This brings up a list of components. Uh, and you can drag them down here to um, this uh, bar here. I'm just getting rid of stuff I don't immediately need here. So I can drag, uh, for example, if I want a panel switch, I can drag that panel switch down here. Or I can uh, left click and drag it away and left click again to get rid of it. And you can cycle through this bar using your mouse wheel. Or you can hit numbers like one, two, three, etc. to select individual components. Now what I'm doing is I'm building on a circuit board here. So to build a circuit board you you know you select the circuit board here from the uh, selection menu, left click, and then drag out how big you want it, and then left click again. To resize you can hit V and it'll bring up this display of, uh, you know, the uh, corners and the edges. If you left click here, you can drag in that direction for, toward, uh, for towards you or away from you to resize the board. And then hit V again to unselect it. I was gonna make that a six by six. The advantage of building on a circuit board is you can just uh, grab the entire circuit board with G and move it around. And you can copy the circuit board with Control G if need be. It would also copy all the components on it. So it's advantageous to build on circuit boards. To delete this circuit board that I don't currently want, I can hit R to delete it. Why R, I couldn't tell you. I was gonna, again, make that a six by six. Okay. So going over components real brief, like if I put an AND gate down here, it has two inputs. The inputs are longer usually. So you can see these are longer and this is shorter. There's a kind of uh, not completely consistency to them, but like an inverter here, you can see has a very long uh, bar here and that is the input. You notice in the inverter that the output is colored red. That's because it's inverting the input, which has no input, so it's zero. And it's inverting it, so it's flipping the state from zero to one. If I were to put a switch here and connect it to the input here, and to connect it, I left click on the output, drag to the input and let go. Uh, to connect that wire. So if I flip that switch, you'll see that output is changing state between 0 and 1. Again, I'll just hit R to delete these. A typical uh, project that, uh, or you know, a typical first circuit uh, that people would understand in digital logic is what's called a half adder circuit. A half adder circuit takes two inputs and adds them and also has a carry output. So what they would call a logical truth table, if the input is zero and zero, it outputs zero because zero plus zero is zero. If you input zero and one, zero plus one is one. If you input one and zero, one plus zero is zero. The slightly tricky one is one and one. If I take one and one and I add them in binary, that's one zero or two in decimal. Now, if I had a one bit circuit, that output, that one zero, that's a, a carry bit, okay? So the answer is zero plus carry of one. 
And they do that by using two different components. One is an OR component and one is an X component. Uh, an XOR component and a uh, AND. So let's put down the XOR first. I have one here. There's a blue. It says XOR gate on it. I'll click to lay it down. You'll see it has two inputs and an output. I'm just going to move that just a little bit so I can put down some switches just to demonstrate how it works. I will drag two wires, one per switch. So the way an XOR gate works is it is true if either input is true, but not if both inputs are true. And that's why it's called exclusive OR. A regular OR gate would be true unless both inputs were false. So I'll just show this here. If I flip either input, you'll see the output goes to uh, one. But if I flip both of them, the output goes to zero. And that's exactly what we want. We're gonna add two numbers. If I add one and one, the answer is zero plus a carry bit. All right, so that is why we need an OR gate. Now the carry bit is even simpler. It's just an AND gate. So I'll put down my AND gate here. Hopefully I have enough room to work at, work with here. <laughs> I think so. So the reason I want the AND gate for the carry is this is only gonna be true if the inputs are true. I'm interchanging true and false and zero and one, sorry. But it, this will be uh, effectively one if the inputs are both one otherwise zero and that's why we want an and because we we carry when both the inputs are one so let's add some inputs via switches we will hook them up and we hook them up to both gates as such now i have a half adder circuit so if i flip this switch that is equivalent, well, okay, well, sorry. If right now it's zero plus zero. So zero plus zero, answer zero, carry zero. Carries on my left, answers on my right. So if I flip this, now it's zero plus one or one plus zero, whichever it is, doesn't matter. But you'll see the output is now one, which is what we expect. And if I flip this, then the answer is again one. And if I flip both of them, which would be one plus one, the answer is zero and the carry is one, like we'd expect. So that's that's basically the intent of the tutorial is just to go over the basics of the game. I hope it's helpful. Thank you.